How many properties do you need to replace a $50,000 income? Come on, let's get to it. A $50,000 income, right? So the average income in America for a family of four, I want to say is around $52,000, $54,000. So I'm going to use $50,000 as a solo individual to replace a $50,000 income. How much do you actually need, right? So this house, I pay $45,000, but let's say I pay $50,000 for this property. Now, before you say there's no $50,000 properties where I live at, just bear with me. I'm going to get to that, right? So how many of these do you need, right? $50,000, right? So let's say these $50,000 rent for $800, okay? $800 a month, you get an income, right? So let's say you have 10 of these, right? You had 10 of these, and that's 10 of these, that's $8,000 a month, right? So what does $8,000 a month put you at? So that would put you at about $96,000 a year. So does that solve your problem? No. The reason being, right, remember, you have property tax, we have insurance, we have maintenance, okay? So typically with rental properties, you're running on 50%. So let's say on this property, my um, mortgage is around 450, right? 450. And I'm renting it for $800, okay? Well, that gives me about $350 net cash flow, but that's still not solving my problem, right? Because what typically, right, your properties are going to have 50%. So if you're making $800 a month from a tenant, typically $400 should cover expenses, all right? So let's say, right, you got 10 of these, you're bringing in $8,000 a month, right? But you're running off, remember, 50%. It's only actually net profit that you can actually live on because you have to have reserves, you have maintenance, you have everything else, right? So with that, um, what you would do in, those, in this scenario, right? You're making 96000 right? So if you break 96000 down, you're at 48000 probably in net profit um, with things going, yeah, if you're running off 50% expenses, 50% expenses, debt service, taxes, insurance, maintenance. So... You're at, um, now this is for cash flow investors, right? This is not for, you know, I'm not talking about getting appreciating um, things that are going to appreciate rapidly. Like if you're in the Charlotte, Atlanta, um, San Francisco, um, well, not San, you know, San Francisco stuff is like you'd be in the hood for like a million dollars. But like, you know, um, a city that's growing crazy, like in Orlando, no. So um, 50,000, right? $50,000 properties, you get 10. You're at 96,000 a year. So you're getting, bringing home $48,000. you are still short. So you would need 11 $50,000 properties to get you over that to replace a $50,000 income based off of, right? Based off of $50,000 property and jobs. Now, I know a lot of you are like, well, I can't find that. You can't do that here uh, where I live at. Okay. What you can do, you can go to the Midwest, places like Detroit places like Ohio, and invest for cash flow, okay? Outskirt, places like North Carolina, not inside of Charlotte, 40, 40 minutes out, an hour out of Charlotte, where you can have, get $50,000 houses that rent for $800, okay? And remember, you'll probably get more than $800 for the property, depending on where you get it from, um, because of inflation always rises. So being that inflation always rises, you probably get um, you probably get a little bit more, so just keep that in mind, right? So you'll need about eleven fifty thousand dollars properties. Now you don't have to buy these properties cash. You can get loans on these properties and maybe put ten percent down, right? Ten percent down on a fifty thousand dollars property is five thousand dollars. That's all it is. It's five thousand dollars. So this is for high in er high income earning people, okay? Now, let's say you're living in one of these towns that have $50,000 properties, and you're like, well, I don't qualify for a bank. Fine. I bought this property with something called owner financing. It allowed me to buy this property with little to no money, no banks qualify, right? I bought this property for $45,000. The person who owned the property said, hey, listen, I sell you, I don't want nothing to do with this property because it was in a low-income neighborhood. It was terrible. So he said, hey, listen, 
what I'll do is I'll give you finance this property for you, 5,000 down, and I'll do a 30-year a amortization schedule. A 30-year amortization schedule, basically what that is, is basically the, the 45,000 is paid over a period of 30 years. But he said the note is due in 10 years. In 10 years, I have to pay it off the property somehow. You know, either cash, going to the bank, etc. Put down $5,000. My payment was like three fifty dollars with taxes and insurance, right? It was like three fifty dollars something. Taxes and insurance. That was my payment. I rented it out for $800. Okay, rented it out for $800. Done that for a few years. And then I took it to a bank to uh, pay him off. Okay, but... You can do owner financing. That's one way to pick up rental properties. You can do uh, something called subject to. Subject to is basically if an owner is um, behind on payment, losing the house, um, going to walk away from the house, and you say, hey, listen, you're going to give the deed to my entity over here, and I'm going to make the payments going forward. Now, if you don't have the money to make the payments, it can land you uh, in court, Potentially how many times you do it, it can land you in jail. So make sure you're in position to make the payment every month on these people's debt that's in their name. But owner financing subject to is a great way to pick up properties if you are not bankable, okay? So look, let me ask you this question, right? How much are properties where you at? Um, where you live at, how much is like properties that are in neighborhoods that are majority rentals, right? How, how much of those properties will you live at? Answer below. Also, I want you to answer how much in net cash flow would you need to leave your job, okay? So remember, if you make your 50000 a year, technically, after taxes, you'll probably bring home 38000 or so, you know, after you pay Uncle Sam, depending on your tax situation. So how much income would you like to gain from rental properties before you walk away from your job? Like, what is your number? Comment below, okay? Watch the video next to me this way. If you use this particular method that this guy is doing, it will help you expedite leaving your job. It's the room rental method, um, which is a great way. But hey, listen, I'm Nasser, AKA the real estate guru. I'm not a guru, I'm a guru because I actually do this business. Peace.